A complete overhaul of a generating unit at the Union Island power station has been ongoing for the past week. In keeping with the mandate of St. Vincent Electricity Services Limited to ensure customers receive safe and reliable electricity supply. Overhauls at the various power stations are part of Vinlex's routine program to maintain generators used to produce electricity. They are an important component of the company's maintenance operations as the process results in improved efficiency and reliability. This country ended 2016 with a record 40 murders the highest ever committed here in one year, but 2017 seems to have started on a much better note. The first month of 2017 ended last Tuesday, and unlike some other countries in the region, January ended with no one being killed in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College, the SVGCC Environmental Club, has installed a 22 kilowatt solar photovoltaic PV system at the institution's Villa Campus. The project coordinator, Mr. Allenson Crookshank, who is also the lecturer in the charge of the club, stated that the project was con conceptualized since 2014. Local Silver PV contractor Alternative Energy and Engineering Solutions designed the system and procured and installed 88 solar panels and other components. St. Vincent and the Grandines joined the global community in observing World Wetlands Day yesterday, February 2nd. Cosmos MacLeod, forestry supervisor, said the annual observance was intended to highlight the importance of wetlands to the environment. Mr. MacLeod said wetlands and disaster risk reduction has been chosen as the theme for this year's observance, noting that the main focus for World Wetlands Day is on healthy wetlands to help us cope with extreme weather events. Speaking to NBC Radio, he said it will also focus on wetlands natural safeguard against disasters and wetlands sustainability to live. He stated that wetlands play a vital role in helping to cope with extreme weather events. And today we're celebrating World Wetlands Day. And wetlands are really important, not only locally to help prevent flooding, and these wetlands we've got at the park help protect the park from risks of flooding, but also in loads of other regions throughout the UK and around the world. And we've seen on the news over the last few months what a devastating effect flooding can have on communities. So wetlands are really important to help protect us from flood risk. But they're also really good for wildlife. Now here we, we manage them to help conserve our local biodiversity, our local wildlife, but also throughout the world they're really good source to, for habitat for endangered species. And they're also a really important sponge and they absorb loads of carbon dioxide, which is one of the greenhouse gases which causes climate change. So they're great for wildlife and they're really important to help with the environment. Since 1900, the world has lost 64% of its wetland habitat. And that's devastating for, for communities, for wildlife and for the environment. So it's really important on a day like today, World Wetlands Day, that we celebrate and raise awareness of the importance of our wetlands. Minister of Information Camila Gonzalez this week warned local Syrian businessmen not to travel to the USA at this point. Minister Camila Gonzalez added, if you are a Syrian born, you may be denied entry to the USA for the time being, even if you are a Christian and have a valid SVG passport. He added that he is sure that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has contacted the U.S. Embassy in Barbados for clarification. In the meantime, sit tight. Over the weekend, a temporary ban was placed on citizens from Syria and six other countries by U.S. President Donald Trump. A newly formed local organization is seeking to provide much-needed support to victims of cancer in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The theme of this year's World Cancer Day, We Can, I Can. This is the aim of SOCRCH, surviving strong, courageous, optimistic, resilient, confident and hopeful, in spite of which was founded in 2014. Dr. Joselle Miller, president of SCOTCH, said the overall aim is to encourage cancer patients to feel empowered in the face of a life-threatening illness. Every year on February the 4th, the world comes together in the fight against cancer, one of the leading causes of death in the 21st century. On this day, we unite to raise awareness and encourage the prevention, detection and treatment of cancer. In 2012, 8.2 million people worldwide lost their lives to cancer, 
That number is estimated to rise to 13.1 million by 2030. But together we can take actions to reduce that number. 30% of deaths by cancer are caused by preventable behaviours such as tobacco and alcohol use, low intake of vegetables and fruits and lack of exercise. By raising awareness and increasing education about this issue, we can save lives. This year on World Cancer Day, we ask people to reflect on how we can make a difference individually and collectively in the fight against cancer. Dr. Josel Miller, president of SCORD, stated that the organization helps persons to find an avenue to get support and not only emotionally but psychologically and also to get important referrals if they need overseas treatment as well as to provide financial aid. Dr. Miller added that the Global Observance of World Cancer Day on Saturday, 4th February is intended to encourage support to victims and their families. The rate of growth of pensions in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is unsustainable, a situation which the Prime Minister says he intends to correct. During the presentation of the estimates of, to Parliament on January 30th, Prime Minister and the Minister of Finance, Dr. Gonsalves, said during the 2016 fiscal year, actual pensions paid amount to 56.4 million, an 11.4% increase over the comparative period for 2015. And two members of the staff of the St. Vincent and the Grandins Community College, the SBGCC, are presently working on closure arrangements following the death of three students on Sunday. A statement from the SBGCC said that Deputy General Allen and Lecturer Phil and Hackshaw are in Barbados. Working along with the parents of the deceased students, the SBGCC's partners are the Korean Hotel and Resort, the police and other officials. Stay with us. The sporting highlights are up next.